And guess what day it is today? Saucepan sorting day! Hooray! Are you ready with the saucepans yet, Ben? Oh, yes. Hello, everyone. Here they all are, Small. All ready for me to sort. Well, uh, Small, what is it, Ben? It's just I thought it was my turn to decide how we were going to sort out the saucepans. It was your turn last saucepan sorting day. Oh, yes. Well, I suppose it is your turn, then. I shall sort them into different... Noises, yay! <laughs> Noises? Yes. First, <laughs> the clangers. <laughs> that certainly sounds like a clanger, Ben. <laughs> yes, it does. And so does this. <laughs> <laughs> All the clangers together. <laughs> What's next? Next, Small, is the tinkle tinklers. Tinkle tinklers? Yes, the tinkle tinklers. These are some of my favourites. Hey, there's a tinkle tinkler, and here's another one. Now, is this a tinkle tinkler? Oh, no, that's a boinger. <laughs> Put that there with the other big boinger. Oh, yes. So now we have the clangers, the tinkle tinklers and the big boingers all sorted out. Ready to play? Whoopee! <laughs> now that's what I call sorting out the saucepans. Oh, come on, Small, we've got a customer. It's cooking time. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who is it, Small? He's making a clanging sound. What sort of guest goes clang, clang? It sounds like my saucepans. <laughs> That's because your saucepans are made out of metal, like our guest. He's got big metal eyes and big metal legs and big metal arms. It's a robot, a big robot made out of metal. He's come to visit our cafe. Wow. Now, what sort of thing does a big metal robot want to eat? Hmm, this is a tricky one, a robot. <gasps> I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. One day, I was on a walk in the country. The grass was green, the sky was blue, it was a beautiful day. But then, there in front of me, right in the middle of the countryside, was an enormous pile of junk. Great big bits of metal, all just dumped there, higgledy-piggledy. Look at that junk, I said. That's got to be tidied up right away. But the trouble was, all those great big metal things were much too big and much too heavy for me to lift. Luckily, I had brought my useful screwdriver with me. I had a think. And I had an idea. I went through the pile of junk, looking for interesting bits and bobs. A bit here, a bob there, another bit here. And with my useful screwdriver, I screwed all these bits and bobs together. What was I building? I was building a robot. A great big metal robot made out of bits and bobs. Hello, robot, I said. Hello, little cook said the robot, blinking its big metal eyes at me. Thank you for building me. What can I do for you? Hmm. Could you clear up the rest of that junk for me, please? I asked. Of course, said the robot. Shouldn't be too difficult for a great big metal robot like me. 
and the great big metal robot picked up all the big bits of metal and tidied them up in no time. In fact, he used all the junk to build himself a special robot house with metal walls and a metal door. That's better, don't you think? Little Cook, said the big metal robot. Very tidy, I said. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Brilliant story, Small. I didn't know you could build a robot. <laughs> oh, yes. But that doesn't mean I know what a robot eats, Ben. Hmm, what can we make for a robot? It's got to be made out of all different shapes and all big and roboty and... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hmm, time for some serious thinking, Ben. Hmm. Oh, we... Oh. Oh, I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book, there's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Well, well, look at this! The perfect thing! Gingerbread robot! Hee hee hee! Why didn't we think of that straight away, Ben? OK, Small, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need butter. OK, here we go. Over to the fridge. Yep, butter, got that. One egg. One egg in the fridge. There we are, got that too. Brown sugar. Brown sugar in the cupboard. Got the brown sugar. Self-raising flour. Self-raising flour in the cupboard as well. Got that, Small. Some golden syrup. Oh, yes, lovely golden syrup. Got it. A little bit of ginger powder. Ginger powder. Got that, Small. And some pretty coloured icing. Oh, I love the icing. Got it. Oh. There. All the ingredients. Even the different coloured icing. Oh, yes, look. Yellow, blue and red. Oh, icing's interesting stuff, isn't it, Ben? Yes, and it's yummy stuff as well, especially when it's on a gingerbread robot. <laughs> yes, but I was thinking, Ben, where does icing come from? Because you can't pick it off a tree, can you? <laughs> and you can't dig it up from the ground either. Hey, Small, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get all the ingredients ready? That's a great idea. I'll be back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoa! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. We're here! I'm so excited! Aha! This is where icing is made. Icing is made in lots of different colours. What colour do you think we're going to see today? Hee hee! That's blue! Blue icing! In go some more ingredients and then it all has to be mixed up. Mixy, mixy, mixy! Ooh, I know what that is. It's icing sugar, another important ingredient. The ingredients have to be mixed up one more time so it all turns blue again. Ooh, yummy! Now it has to be packed into these tubes, ready to go to the shops. This little girl is icing a cake. With blue icing. I wonder if it's her birthday and she's decorating her birthday cake. Mmm, she's used lots of different colours. It's very pretty. Well done! Can't wait to tell Ben all about icing. See you later. <laughs> <Whoa -hey! laughs> oh, hello, robot. I've just. <gasps> robot? Boo! <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Fooled you. It's you, Big Cook Ben. <laughs> yeah. Robot's still waiting for his roboty snack. <laughs> Ooh. I think I'd make a good robot, though. So, did you find out how icing is made? 
icing is made in a factory with sugar and a special machine. It goes round and round. Brilliant. Shall we get cooking? Good eye, dear. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients for the gingerbread robot? You do. There was butter. 75 grams. One egg. One egg. Sugar. 100 grams. Self-raising flour. 250 grams. Golden syrup. Two tablespoons. Ginger powder. One teaspoon. And for decoration, icing. Lots of coloured icing. Whoopee! Let's get started. OK, then. First of all, I'm going to put the flour, there we are, the sugar, in it goes, the ginger, straight in, and the butter, all together in a big mixing bowl. <laughs> and then with our nice clean hands, we're going to rub it all together. Rub-a-dub-dub! -dub. Now I'm going to add the egg. In it goes, and the golden syrup. Oh, yes. There it is. And mix it round. Now you can squish it with your hands to make a dough. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. <laughs> I'm just going to give it one final big squish before we roll it out. We need to put some flour down so it doesn't stick. Flour down. Flour on the rolling pin. And roll the dough as thin as we can. Roll, roll, roll. I'm a robot. There, finished. Now for the cutter. We're going to make our robot out of lots of different shapes. First of all, I'm going to use a big square for the robot's tummy. Oh, there we go. Big square. And for the robot's head, I'm going to use a little square. On it goes. And for the next part, I'm going to make four little circles for the robot's hands and the robot's feet. One. Two, three, four. There we go. And now four rectangles for the robot's arms and the robot's legs. One, two, three, and four. <coughs> Next, we need to scoop them up onto this grease baking tray. So I'll begin with our robot's body. There we go. On it goes. And then we'll take our robot's head. Pop it on at the top there. Now for the robot's arms. And finally, we pop on our robot's hands. And our robot's feet. Is the robot finished yet? Yes, it is. Now we can put it in the oven. Now, oven gloves on. And I've already set the oven to 170 degrees Celsius gas mark three. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Open the oven. 
And in it goes. There we are. I'll set the timer. For 15 minutes. What's our robot like then? Oh, he smells all nice and gingery. <laughs> <laughs> Better leave him to cool. They're cool, they're cool. Now I'm just popping our robot onto a plate. There's his head. And next, it's time for the decorating with the different coloured icing. We've cut our icing into lots of different shapes. Here's the robot's tummy. On it goes. Two arms and two legs, two hands and two feet. Finish off with the robot's head and a star. Now this is the clever part. I'm going to use our icing pen to give the robot two eyes, one, two, and a nice smiley mouth. Oh, there he is. Our gingerbread robot! One gingerbread robot coming through! So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away! Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and glee my name's Ben, and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Hold on, hold on, Small. He's left us a box and a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my lovely gingerbread robot. It was perfect. I've given you a special present. Well, open it, open it! OK, then. Wow! Look, Small, it's a special robot saucepan. And of course, it's saucepan sorting day. We'd better sort it quick. Will it be a clanger, or a tinkle tinkler, or a big boinger? Well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it the special robot saucepan. <laughs> Ready to play? <laughs> Now that's what I call a saucepan sorting day. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone. We'll cook for everyone.